All right, so you've just finished reading the refrigeration process. And what you're looking at here is probably you're probably familiar with from uh, page 26 in your text. Now what I've done is cleaned it up and simplified it a little bit. What I don't want you to worry about is how it does this. I want you to understand what's happening. So to make things a little more clear, what I have done is uh, given you a picture of your typical window air conditioner just to make sure that when we're talking about the outside portion of the unit we're talking about this which we're familiar with we're not used to looking at it like this and then the inside references this half of the diagram so what's happening inside first of all we have 75 degree inside room air and our window unit is blowing out 55 degree air and that's coming right out of here out of the top of the indoor unit so what happens is the 75 degree room air is pulled across the cooling coil now you remember from module one that heat flows from hot to cold so we have a 75 degree room air flowing across a coil that's 40 degrees so the heat from the room air flows out of the air and into the cooler coil and when the air ends up on the other side of the coil some of the heat has been removed and that air comes out on the other side of the coil at about 55 degrees most of your air conditioners are going to cool the air by about 20 degrees if you can get 21 22 it's doing really well you'll see on the older air conditioners it's it's somewhat below that but as a rule of thumb 75 degree air going in 55 out if it's 80 degree air going in then it's going to be 60 degrees out so the heat that is flows from the warm room air into the cooler coil is absorbed by the refrigerant it is brought here to the outdoor portion of our room air conditioner and run through the compressor don't worry about what happens in there we'll talk about that later but what happens once it's compressed the temperature of the refrigerant goes from 40 degrees up to 125 degrees now remember that heat flows from hot to cold so we have 125 degree refrigerant flowing through this coil the outside air is 95 degrees so the heat in the refrigerant in the outdoor coil will flow out of the coil and into the outside air and of course that's assisted by your outside and outdoor fan which brings that 95 degree outside air and blows it across that coil for the heat transfer all right let's review so we have our 75 degree room air which is drawn across the 40 degree coil by the indoor fan and we've learned that heat flows from hot to cold so the heat in the 75 degree warm air flows out of the air and into the colder refrigerant that refrigerant is pumped outside through the compressor when that refrigerant is compressed the temperature is increased to 125 degrees the outdoor fan takes the 95 degree air blows it across the 125 degree coil now that 95 degree outside air is cooler than the 125 degree coil so the heat flows out of the coil and into the 95 degree outside air so what an air conditioner really does is it removes heat from the air pumps it outside and then it dumps that heat outside so it really just removes heat from a, one space and moves it to another now when we we're talking about air conditioning and, and from now forward we need to think ab about removing heat more so than cooling air even though the result is uh, 55 degree air coming out of the air conditioner all right so if you have any questions email go to the forum for this module and um, I will answer them there and we'll take a look at the uh, components of an air conditioning and how they all fit together and how they all work in the next screencast